everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we have an old fashioned summer classic. We're gonna be making some peach shortcakes and we're gonna be using the sweet cream shortcake biscuits I made in a previous video, as well as the sweet peach topping we made in a recent video. And I'm gonna to top it all off with some delicious homemade cinnamon whipped cream that I'm gonna show you how to make today. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. Today we're gonna take some of our sweet peach topping and we're going to make really great old-fashioned peach shortcake. And we're gonna use our sweet cream shortcake biscuits that we made in another video. And we're gonna to top it all off with some homemade cinnamon whipped cream. And I'm gonna show you how to make that in this video. Then we're gonna put all of these magical things together to make a delicious summery dessert. All right, whipped cream, you guys, you've seen us make whipped cream before, but in case you missed it, we're gonna go ahead and just for fun, we're gonna do this together. Today I'm using one cup of heavy whipping cream and I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of Tarani cinnamon vanilla syrup. Now you don't have to do that. If you don't have the cinnamon vanilla syrup, you're gonna wanna add a quarter of a cup of powdered sugar and a little bit of cinnamon in here and a teaspoon or more of vanilla. What we're gonna do now, because we have our sweetener and our cream ready to go and you wanna do this while it's cold, we're gonna get this beat beating until we have nice soft peaks. Then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. <laughs> Okay, you can see we have some nice soft peaks going on now. Now, it also helps if you refrigerate or even stick in the freezer your bowl and your, your beaters. Um, but I'm gonna be stabilizing this whipped cream with some instant clear gel. You guys have heard me talk about that before. This is one of my favorite uses for it is, is to stabilize whipped cream. So I have a tablespoon of instant clear gel and I have a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and I'm just gonna beat this in and finish whipping the cream until it's nice and has stiff peaks. Okay, our whipped cream is done. It's nice and fluffy and it tastes like cinnamon. And it's just lightly sweetened. I didn't use a whole lot of syrup in there and if you're using a cup of heavy whipping cream, a quarter of a cup of powdered sugar is gonna give you just the right level of sweetness. You really want your sweetness here to come from the peach topping that you made and the whipped cream is just going to enhance the whole experience. So the one thing I did wanna mention, I do use instant clear gel. You've heard me talk about that before. I will leave you a link down below where you can find the product on Amazon. I highly recommend it. It stabilizes whipped cream the best. And if you're using the whipped cream like to top a pie, like a chocolate pie or some sort of like a key lime pie, it's gonna prevent your whipped cream from deflating in the refrigerator overnight. It's also going to prevent it from weeping and it's just going to make the whole thing that much more beautiful and easy to deal with. The clear gel can also be used to thicken gravies, and thicken pie filling. Um, you can add it to hot or cold liquids and I just can't say enough about it. I love having it uh, at my disposal and you get a whole lot for a little bit of money and you can just stick it in your pantry and it lasts for a really long time. So that's my spiel on the instant clear gel. So. I will, um, now we're gonna come back in just a second and build our peach shortcakes. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and build these now, guys. I know you know how to make a shortcake, really. Shortcake on the bottom, fruit on the top. I just wanted to show you, um, if you saw our video for this sweet peach topping, then this is the next day from making that. This has been, it was cooled on the countertop, then it was put in this plastic container and put in the refrigerator. I just, I want you to see how beautiful the, um, the peachy sauce has turned out. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, it's just right, and I have to tell you, it's not super sweet. I know you probably, some of you are thinking you put a lot of sugar in there, but honestly, it is just the right amount peach shortcake with beautiful cinnamon whipped cream. I mean, does it get much better than that? Look at that, look at that, ugh. So here our peach shortcakes are all ready to go. I have to say too, this is a really great idea if you guys are prepping for a picnic or a potluck. Um, the peach topping can be made well in advance. You can even toss it in the freezer if you want. And the sweet cream shortcake biscuits, again, they can be made in advance. You can even freeze those if you want to. So if you're prepping for a big event, 
you can have this all under control and then the day of like right before you can just whip up that cinnamon whipped cream and you're good to go you guys set up a shortcake bar and everyone is going to love that you can have all sorts of different fruits to top it with and then a couple of different options for whipped cream and you're good to go i know you're ready to taste this yes so let's see get a piece of shortcake some of that peach some of that whipped cream what do you think wow mm -hmm. that might be better than strawberry shortcake the peaches are not overly cooked so they're not mushy they have some toothsomeness to them i mean you can really tell they're fresh peaches these do not taste anything like canned peaches they don't leave, eat anything like a canned peach so or frozen peach for that matter this is amazing yes it is it's the perfect refreshing summer dessert and I know you're gonna love it. I hope you give this peach shortcake and this cinnamon whipped cream a try sometime soon, and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.